Hey everybody, James Slattery here, another delve into Zero Work, uh, the TaskBot creator. Um, I spoke to the creator of t Zero Work today, and uh, man, she's awesome. Uh, this is a bot that Jagadish Chundru made, uh, one of my friends, and uh, it's a Yellow Pages scraper, and basically... It saves data to a table and these are the elements of the scraper and when you run it, it looks like this <clears throat> we'll let it run for a minute less get some data in there Right. So I'm going to stop it. Right. And then we're going to check the data. Yeah. Ridiculous. Um, it's really good. Uh, the cool thing about it is you can edit what search term it's doing and where it's doing it. Atlanta, Georgia. Right. Good stuff. Killer, customizable uh, bot. Thanks again, Jagadish. That is amazing. Now, what I'm talking about today are two things. Um, number one is how to click on things in uh, Zero Work uh, and uh, cookie steals. So I'm going to start with the um, with the CSS selection. So I just used uh, DuckDuckGo. And I have a simple bot that opens a link, types text, and then clicks the button. Uh, so basically, when you're on DuckDuckGo and you type in a search, there's a number of different ways to initiate it. You could hit enter after it. You could click this. So to show off CSS selection, I'll show you uh, what happens when you click this. So if you have this plugin, this copy CSS selector plugin, which is available here, uh, you know, it's a browser extension, Chrome extension. If you have that installed, when you're looking at a site and you right click on an element, you can click copy CSS selector. It'll put dots around it and then you know that you have the right one. And if you want, you can paste the selection here to make sure that it looks like a selector. And that's what you put into the uh, zero work tool is that selection. And most times it works perfectly. There are other ways to do it. I mean, on this one, you probably could have done tab enter on the keyboard, whatnot. But if we look, this is how it you know looks inside the tool. So we clicked on that, said it, we, we'd get the web results. So if I run this one, which opens DuckDuckGo, <clears throat> just types in Data Recovery Manhattan, and then clicks the button. We'll watch it run. And I have it running real slow so that I could watch its progress. It clicks the button and does the search. So that's CSS selection with uh, zero work. Then the other thing is uh, the problem that you can run into is if you're not logged in. So uh, that's when cookie steals come in. So all this uh, does is open LinkedIn.com, right? So if we run it, we'll see that it's prompting for you to log in. I want the tool already logged in. So what you do with that is you go to LinkedIn, right? And you click on edit this cookie, which is the second browser extension, edit this cookie, while you're on the LinkedIn tab, and you export your cookie from uh, LinkedIn. Now, when you go back to the, uh, zero work, and you click the gear icon, and paste the cookie in here, right? Now 
Now when we run the tool to go to LinkedIn, you notice it's logged in. So two amazing tools, uh, you know, techniques to make your bots. It does everything else very simply, very easily. So um, definitely worthwhile to check out. Um, You've seen uh, two of the cool features in this tool, the copy CSS selector and edit this cookie. And again, props to Jagadish, that scraper is awesome. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Bye.